was first diagnosed with TB. I was a bit scared because I didn't know much about it. I was still in school in year 11. We're not feeling too good about it. People might know and then they might get scared. And Clayton helped clear the misunderstanding in school meetings. People have this idea that tuberculosis is a disease of the past. It's still a major illness in every country in the world. While it's a serious disease, and if it's not treated, can be very serious, it is entirely treatable, and we have a specialised clinic that can deliver that treatment free of charge, and we have a 99% cure rate, so we get people better. So an average week in the Anissa Clayton Centre is very busy. We have clinics, they run Monday to Friday. We have a pharmacy in the clinic. We do home visits, so as case managers, we get to visit our patients in the house. We also do vaccinations for children at risk of tuberculosis. And we do blood tests and the contact tracing and general support for our index cases. That all happens here in the clinic. As a TB case manager, it's unique in the fact that I can see that patient every month, which could be from six months to some of them could be for two years. I can see them progress and I can take them through the whole journey. So contact tracing is quite a big part of my job. It's the identification of those people that might have been exposed to the index case. Once we've identified those people that have been exposed, we can offer screening and then depending on the results of that screening we can offer preventative uh, treatment. The, the support provided to Kaki uh, during her TV treatment was uh, absolutely personally fabulous. I mean, everyone was so caring from Anita Clayton, from the Department of Health and from all the people involved there. Our future in WA is to maintain our program, to take the best possible care of people who do get TB to have the very best screening processes for people who are coming to Australia or are at risk of TB who already live here, and then work together at a national level and an international level in the global effort to reduce TB. Because in the end, it has to be the whole world, but it doesn't, not just WA.